Well, uh, I had expressed interest in becoming a senior judge in the state of Kansas and heard just last Monday that I had been asked to do that. And because the senior judge contracts run from June 4th, I had to resign the day before that to take that contract. It, it will be very, very similar to what I do now, just more spread out and uh, uh, more travel involved. Senior judges do a couple of things. First of all, uh, senior judges work 40 percent of the time of a regular judgeship. They get, as I understand it, 25 percent of the regular pay plus insurance but that is typically done by someone who has reached retirement age and qualifies to also receive their retirement at the same time. There are some senior judges, as I understand it, who are assigned to help the appellate courts. That is not what I will be doing. Uh, others are assigned to take cases throughout the state where local judges, for one reason or the other, usually a conflict of interest, simply can't handle the case and a senior judge would come in and preside over that case. A good example is uh, Judge Lyle from Hutchinson who recently came to Ellis County and handled the, uh, the trial of the, involving the uh, Earl Field estate. I think it will be a, an extremely broad type of case load as it is with a district judge. You handle virtually everything from traffic matters up through murder. Uh, so potentially that could continue to, to happen. Uh, and I think that I would be likely to be assigned almost anywhere in the state where I was needed. So I expect to travel quite a bit. Well, I think there, there have been some times when uh, because of the caseload and the number of judges that are just as a matter of course assigned to be in a particular judicial district that they have uh, difficulty in handling all of the cases. And so I think that's a possibility if they had an extraordinarily high caseload and their existing judges couldn't handle it, uh, that that is a possibility. Ordinarily if a judge is needed, um, a request has to be forwarded to the Supreme Court who will appoint a judge to come cover. Uh, because of the rural nature of our area out here, for years and years the Supreme Court has put into effect what's called a standing cross assignment, meaning that if Judge Schiffner and Colby needs help, we could go help him. If we need his help, he could come here. The same with Judge Pratt in uh, Norton and uh, Judge Gatterman in Larned. It often happens and uh, you know those judges have been very helpful to us and have handled a great many cases and we've had the opportunity to, to return the favor or return the, uh, the work and uh, get to those places from time to time. There is someone from the Office of Judicial Administration which is the the business arm of the uh, Supreme Court, Kansas Supreme Court, uh, will call and say we need a judge here for this type of case involving these parties and these attorneys uh, and we would like you to take it. And so somebody from what we call OJA, Office of Judicial Administration, will be the one who assigns a uh, senior judge to a particular case and then as I understand it, the senior judge will contact the attorneys and then make, much as we do here, individual hearing appointments and so on. Someone will be elected this fall, but I believe that the statute would require the governor before this fall to appoint someone, but that process takes probably more like two to three months at a minimum and so there will be some need here. Uh, Judge Brown will be uh,
taking on 50% more, if you want to look at it that way, or 100% more, depending on how you look at it. But we have what are called uh, standing cross assignments with judges from uh, the Norton area and from the Colby and Goodland area and from the Larned area. But of course, they've got their caseloads, but they may try to come in and, and help Judge Brown somewhat. I will be uh, 65 next April, so I'm a little bit ahead of retirement. Uh, actually, I can take judicial retirement, as you may or may not know. I had, had already said I would not run for uh, office this year. So I was due to be out of office in, in due course in January of 2017. So I would have been a few months shy of my 65th birthday. And of course, I could have taken early Social Security and could have taken my uh, judicial retirement because I have enough years of service and I'm old enough to do that. So, but uh, this will allow me to have some more options about uh, not taking Social Security right away. And the biggest thing was simply being, I still am young enough that I feel like I can contribute and I'd like to continue to do that. You know, I think a lot of people say, my wife was probably happier to hear that I wasn't going to be at home all the time. But I, I think that it, I would like some more time to do what I would like to do. I have two granddaughters. I'd like to spend time with them. I'd like to travel to see my children who are spread out across the United States about as far as they can be. One is in Washington, D.C., one is in Seattle, Washington, and one is in Chicago. So I need time to travel to see them. And uh, I have some home projects and some hobbies that I would like to spend time with. But I don't want to be totally disconnected from everything. So I have been very, very uh, proud and happy to be a district judge in this area. I've enjoyed it very much, and it's been very much of an honor. Um, I feel like I work with some very amazing people who have done an outstanding job in the face of some pretty difficult challenges. And uh, uh, as I say, I don't have a better word for them than remarkable, and I'll miss being with them every day. But uh, it's time to uh, see what else is out there, I guess. <laughs>